Hello and thanks for tuning in to the Sim Racing Corner. The topic of this video is comparing the Fanatec CSL pedals with the Load Cell Brake against the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals and hopefully answer the question, which of these is best for you? Priced in the same ballpark and aimed towards racing game enthusiasts looking to invest in an affordable pedal set with a feature found in more expensive high-end pedals, namely that Load Cell Brake. I do have full detailed reviews for both of these pedal sets on the channel, just check the links in the description for those. For this video I'll quickly run you through the features for both pedal sets, then we'll get on the track for testing and some feedback on the positives and negatives, so let's get this started. The Fanatec CSL pedals, we have a steel heel plate and also the pedals are completely made from sheet steel which has been folded into shape. Pedal faces are plastic, they are height adjustable. The distance between the pedals can be adjusted as you have these extra screw holes. So you just have to unscrew them and move them closer or further apart, depending what you want there. Underneath we have rubber feet and also the hard mounting points. Also located on the bottom are the sockets for connecting the pedals to either your Fanatec base or directly to your PC via USB. And they are located there. The clutch and the throttle use spring tension. There's also a rubber piece on the clutch as if you use these pedals in the two pedal configuration if you buy the basic pedal set that is the brake pedal so it does have some extra resistance there. You can certainly leave it in there as it is not that strong. We have magnetic sensors on the throttle and the clutch and on the brake we have the load cell which is located there. For resistance they are using elastomer pieces and they are separated by these hard plastic washers along there. The pedals are very tight, there is no lateral play. The TLCM pedals are built into a hard plastic base. We have an aluminium heel plate with a pressed texture. Metal pedal faces which are adjustable laterally and also height adjustable. Pedal arms are cast from aluminium. Rubber feet on all corners and also hard mounting points. The sockets for connecting this pedal set to either your PC or Thrustmaster wheelbase are located here. So there is one here which you can hardly see because it is rather dark but we have next to it the USB one. So we have two sockets there. The throttle and the clutch use spring tension. The clutch spring is slightly stronger than the throttle one here. The load cell on the brake is located at the bottom, that silver cylinder piece right there. On top of that we have a stack of springs. These are accessible and Thrustmaster have given you a few different springs to play around with. So you can remove them and swap them out so you can change the profile of the feel for a stronger or lighter feel and you can change the progressive feel of the springs and the pedal by just swapping them out with these. There's only a slight amount of lateral play on these pedals, but they are quite stiff and therefore it's not something you will notice while using them. Side by side, these pedal sets are not too dissimilar in size. 
Um, although they do look taller, do bear in mind, as I mentioned earlier, you can height adjust these pedal faces. Also, the heel plate is slightly shallow compared to the Thrustmasters here. It is slightly wider with the Fanatex here by a small amount. The Fanatec pedals are also slightly shorter compared to the Thrustmaster pedal set. I did my best to cram in all the pertinent points of interest into that short segment. The thing you want answered now and what's on your mind is which is the best pedal set. Well, okay, it's not quite a binary answer of this one or that one. There are some areas where it really depends on your setup, which will determine which is likely to be the most suitable one for you. That should become clearer as we journey through the rest of this video. But I will start off and say what I discovered through using both pedal sets over a number of months, and indeed my first impressions. I had no difficulty getting either pedal set up and running, and within a few minutes I was very comfortable on track. Both pedal sets gave me the same level of control and consistency, and that's to say, both did a very good job. So in the sense of one outperforming the other, there is nothing between them. But the story doesn't end there. Let's focus our attention on the load cell brake. That's the reason for buying these pedals. We can essentially ignore the gas and the clutch pedals, at least for our comparison. Magnetic sensors and spring tension, they are both using the same type of mechanism. They are much the same on both pedal sets, getting the job done just fine. The CSL load cell sensor is rated for up to 80 kilograms, and for the TLCM load cell, that's 100 kilograms. So that's the maximum weight these sensors can register. In the driver software, you adjust this accordingly to what feels right for you. So if you want a lighter feeling pedal, you set the braking force lower. And conversely, if you want to really hammer down on that brake, you increase the braking force. Even though the TLCM load cell has the higher weight capacity rating, I can't say it made a difference to me. I found both were more than sufficient. Now let's move on to something I did find that mattered and a significant difference between the pedal sets and that's the feel of those brake pedals. The material sandwiched between the load cell and the pedal is important. The physical properties of how that material compresses is feedback from the brake. When it's done right, it feels natural like operating a real brake. As you push into the pedal, the brake starts off soft and as you apply more pressure, the pedal compresses and becomes firmer over the motion of the pedal. You're actually feeling the brake pressure from the efforts from your leg muscles and that feedback from the pedal. The TLCM brake uses metal spring resistance and the CSL is using elastomers. Elastomers are a form of polymer with rubber-like flexible properties. Load cell brakes typically make use of elastomers and sometimes a combination of a metal spring and elastomers. Let's start off with the TLCM pedals first. The metal springs fail to provide a realistic brake feel. They are linear in nature, lacking a clear progressive buildup of resistance. Combining different strength of springs does help a bit, but it's not quite enough. And overall, those springs, even using the strongest ones, are not firm enough. And when the springs fully compress, you hit a hard stop, and that feels very strange under my foot. I do like the ease of interchanging the springs. That is a good feature for testing different combinations for finding the best possible setup. Moving on to the CSL pedals, I'd say Fanatec has gone too far in the other direction. The brake pedal is very stiff and the pedal travel is really limited due to the use of short elastomer pieces. Each individual piece of elastomer only flexes a tiny amount. This gives the pedal a very stiff feeling throughout the noticeably short pedal travel. I found it's best to use these pedals with shoes or trainers. This allows you to raise your heel, get your foot over that pedal, pushing higher up the pedal, and that does improve the feel of that pedal a lot. And then I can feel some progressive pedal resistance here, but it's still not perfect. Some people prefer to use socks for sim racing, and I discovered the brake simply felt really numb and stiff. It's like breaking into a brick wall. There's really nothing coming from that pedal. There is simply no sensation. So I would only really recommend you operate these pedals with footwear, 
maybe if you have massive large feet then that will overcome that issue but for everyone else wear some shoes so in my opinion neither pedal set gets it quite right though there is something you should also understand although i'm not completely satisfied with the feel of those brake pedals don't get completely bogged down by those negatives. They still technically function like any other load cell brake I've used. The load cell is converting the application of weight into braking force. And from that technical point of view, they are absolutely doing a fine job. And regardless, both pedal sets enable me to manage very precise deceleration and control. So they are doing a really good job, but the brake may not feel exactly awesome or realistic. So bear that in mind, it's kind of two different things really guys. Uh, the performance on track and the feel of the pedal are two different things. The lighter resistance and adjustable springs of the TLCM pedals make them well suited for being placed on the floor, a wheel stand or sim rig. And the Fanatec pedals with those super stiff elastomers are better designed for a sim rig where the pedal deck is solid and part of the cockpit so you can really stamp down on the pedal hard without pushing away the chair or pedals. A wheel stand may work but it could be a struggle unless you tether your seat to the wheel stand. As these pedal sets are the cheapest around featuring a load cell brake maybe it's understandable they don't nail it perfectly but if I was to pick which brake pedal I prefer out of the box it would have to be the Fanatec pedals. Elastomers are the best springs for load cell brakes, in my opinion. But there is some good news. I'm sure it hasn't escaped your attention, but you can mod the brake pedals and replace the springs or those elastomers. I've already covered TLCM brake mods on the channel, including my very popular and low cost DIY option. And you can completely transform the feel of the brake and get it close to what you can expect from a more expensive set of pedals. I'm yet to mod the CSL brake, but that will be coming on the channel um, sometime in the near future, hopefully. And I will add that link or links in the video description of this video when that's done. So uh, stay tuned. That's enough on the brake. Lots of information there to digest. Moving on to reliability and sturdiness. I had no issues during my testing and general use with either pedal set. The shared time between them on the sim rig has been a total of 12 months. I think that's a fair amount of usage. Um, any problems would surely have shown through in that time scale. As for sturdiness, again, both pedal sets have proven to be able to take a beating. I'm heavy handed, or should I say heavy footed with my pedals. Um, given that the TLCM pedal base is plastic, there is a small amount of flex compared to the super stiffness of the CSL pedals. On that basis, the CSLs are materially and naturally more robust and sturdy and stiff. Um, though I can't say the TLCM base appears to be a weak point that's going to shatter into a million pieces or anything like that. Let's begin to wrap up this video, guys. There's a lot of information there, um, but before I continue, I do want to clarify this point. The raw performance of these pedals is equal, and I mean by that is on track. One is not going to give you a competitive advantage over the other. Having used these pedal sets extensively, I can tell you that guys, you know, I felt both gave me a really good amount of precise control in acceleration, braking, and of course, well, the clutch is the clutch, but mainly that brake guys, you know, they are both doing a very good job. It may feel different, but performance wise, whatever car, whatever track, and indeed whatever driving game, they both did a fine job. The main difference that comes into play is the brake pedal spring resistance. Very different feeling, you may prefer one over the other, but ultimately you can mod them and change that feel completely. My TLCM pedals with the DIY brake mod is utterly fantastic. And with that modded brake resistance, I prefer the TLCM pedals over the stock CSL pedals. Though, when I get round to modding the CSL brake, there's a chance I'll end up liking those more, who knows. As to which is the winner, the Fanatex take that honour, the TLCM pedals are just fine and really great once modded, but those CSL pedals, being all metal and starting out with elastomers does give them the win. For you, do consider how they will be used, um, are they going to be floor mounted, are they going to be mounted to a sim rig or a wheel stand, socks or shoes, all these things matter. Maybe you'll recognise you'll need to mod it once you've tried them, um, but possibly you'll be happy as they are. My pick may not be necessarily the best pick for you, so do give it some thought. I have a solid sim rig setup. It's a no compromise system, you know. I can adjust the height and angle of the pedals. I can get pretty much anything to work for me. Um, maybe that's not the case for you, so you do have to consider all these points. 
Any of you guys out there watching this video who have used either or both of these pedal sets, please do share your experiences in the comments. This video is the result of my experiences alone. So I do hope this is a contribution that is useful, but it is from one person's subjective perspective. Do remember that. So after months of using both of these pedal sets and a few hours putting this video together, we are done here. You guys asked me which pedal set I preferred and that's my answer, this video, and I hope that helped. As always, thank you very much for watching. I post a fresh video every couple of days, so I'll be back soon with something new. And until next time, happy simming and bye bye.